So I'm going to solve for x. And x minus 1 is equal to 5x. And we want to get x by itself on one side. Watch your signs. And once you get your solution, you can check your solution. To determine if a number is a solution to the equation, first you're going to substitute the number into the appropriate variable, in this case x. Then we're going to completely simplify each side of the equation separately. And we'll see what we get as far as a true statement or a false statement. Let's go ahead and verify that x equal to 1 fifth is the solution for the equation we just solved. So what I've done is I've rewritten the equation and instead of x I put a pair of parentheses. Plug in the number that we're checking and that's 1 fifth. Simplify each side of the equal sign independently. On the left side of the equation, 10 divided by 5 is actually just 2. Then we put our minus 1. And then I'll say 2 minus 1 is 1. Now let's go to the right side. 5 divided by 5 is just 1. And so since we get a true statement, because 1 is actually equal to itself, then we can say that x is equal to 1 fifth is a solution to our equation. And that's how you check your solutions to equations. You can do this with multiple solutions or one solution. Any type of equation that you solved, plug your solution into the equation and see if you get a true statement or a false statement. Remember that a true statement means the value is a solution. And a false statement means it's not a solution. Let's take a look at one more example. So let's determine if the given x values are solutions to this equation. 1 fifth x minus 3 equal to 2. So before I plug in x equal to negative 5, which is the first value I've got to check, I'm going to write my equation with parentheses in place of x. So now let's go in and place negative 5 in place of x. So let's simplify each side of that equal sign independently. We're good with the right side, but let's go here. Now look, this is tricky. You want to watch your signs. This is negative 5 divided by 5, right? So we have a negative and a positive, right? So that's going to be a negative and then, of course, 1. So negative 1 minus 3 is equal to 2. And then we'll finish simplifying negative 1, negative 3. Remember, if I owe you a dollar and I borrow three more, I'll owe you four dollars. So is this true or false? So this is false. Negative 4 is not equal to 2. So x equal to negative 5 is not a solution. Now let's go to the next one. Let's try x equal to 25 and see what we get. So first thing we're going to do is rewrite that equation with parentheses instead of x, right? Okay. And now let's plug in the value that we're checking, positive 25. If it helps, you can rewrite this as 25 divided by 5 minus 3 equal to 2. So we end up with 5 minus 3 equal to 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. And is 2 equal to 2? Yes, it is. True statement. So x equal to 25 is a solution to the equation. 1 fifth x minus 3 equal to 2. And that's how you check or verify solutions to equations.